Hi, welcome back to Times Square today. I'm your host, Greg Roulette, and I am very excited for my next guest because he is a multiple-time best-selling author. He is an entrepreneur who helps thousands of people through his work, and he is a philanthropist that has made a huge impact in his community. Welcome, my good friend, Perminder Johan Perminder. How are you doing? Thank you, Greg. Welcome to New York. Yeah, thank you for uh, inviting me uh, to the TV interview. Yeah, it's a, a beautiful day out and uh, a lot of incredible things that you're doing through your business, through your writing, through your teaching. Um, I, I kind of want to just, just start by asking, you know, what it is that when you meet at someone at a cocktail party, what is it that you tell them that, that you do? How do you explain what it is that you do? So it's uh, multiple things I do. Uh, I start with uh, what is my profession. Mm -hmm. So I start with the insurance field where I'm managing director of the company, then my involvement in training and mentoring people, then some charity work. All very, very powerful things. And I know that you know you have hundreds of people that, that work for you that are helping so many people through insurance and, and the services that you do and making a huge impact in your community. Um, one of the interesting things kind of about your origin story is you did come to Canada from India yes. a, a while ago. You know, talk to me a little bit about you know, kind of those, those early years and, and getting started as an entrepreneur. I was born uh, uh, in India and came to Canada in 1990. When I came to Canada, I didn't know the language. I couldn't speak English. So then I thought uh, if I wanted to succeed in Canada, so I never thought uh, education was very important for me when I was in India. Right. So coming to Vancouver, uh, I thought that is the only way to go. Right. So then I started to go into that direction. And uh, my wife Deep and I have two kids, Hannah and Arman. So they always supported me in whatever I wanted to do in life. And, and what sparked kind of the idea to be a business owner? Because it could have been real easy for you to, you know, when you moved to Canada, didn't know the language, just just get a job, just fit in. And instead, you you obviously over the time have created a really nice business for yourself. But what drove you to be an entrepreneur or maybe just a small business owner at that time? Yeah, my dad, uh, I saw him because uh, he was always working on a salary and we couldn't meet our ends and uh, money was tight. Right. So I always thought if I wanted to do something, I have to own, I have to do something my own as a business entrepreneur. Yeah. So where I can grow, potential is not limited, so I can have more resources so I can help other people as well and uh, live my life uh, beautiful. But was that something that you kind of discovered on your own? Was it a, was it a book you read? It's, you know, you get hit upside the head with a rock one day and you're just like, I, I'm responsible for, for creating my own future. No, it was um, uh, coaching and mentoring. Uh, I followed uh, Brian Tracy and uh, mm -hmm. took his courses, uh, listened to audios, videos, and uh, read a lot of books, Tony Robbins, uh, Jack Canfield, uh, and uh, a lot of people I follow, and uh, uh, they are my ideals. I always look up to them. So I thought, if I follow them, I, can, I could change my life. Right, and now I think what's really cool is it's come kind of full circle is now you are a big mentor and a coach and an inspiration for a lot of the people that, that you know, work for you and work for the business. You know, how does it kind of feel to come 360 and now be that inspiration for a new generation? I just wanted to make a difference in other people's life. So the only way I could do is uh, if I transfer the skills and the things I have learned in my life. So I try to transfer into them and uh, coach them uh, whatever I learned in 28 years in Canada. Wow. So I took them through that road. And now I know that you have hundreds of, of advisors that are in your organization now. Are there any, any of those that, that kind of stand out that you know, maybe were, they were struggling or they were having a tough time and you really were able to mentor them and, and turn their life around? So one of the guy, when he came to me, he said, I wanted to start in business. I'm committed, but I don't know many people in Canada. I, I helped him, I uh, said focus on the licensing first. Yeah. So then I hold his stand and we walk through uh, together. And he's one of the top successful people in my office today. What do you think made the difference between him you know, becoming successful and maybe some of the other agents that you've worked for that you know, haven't had that level of success? What, what was it about him? Was it just the fact that he was open to ask you for help? Or were there other people are, you know, they want to do it all themselves? I think it's, uh, uh, nothing is impossible if you're ready to take the first step. So taking the step is, first step is very important. So I help people uh, to guide them into that direction. Nice, and it's such a needed skill that, yeah. that, that is needed out there for a lot of folks. One of the things that, that I find very fascinating about what you do is, again, you're paying it forward not just to the, to the folks in your organization, but on the philanthropy side is yeah. you give back a lot to charity to, to improve the community. You know, why is that such a big mission for you? 
because I have seen uh, my dad in my childhood uh, every single time, even uh, we were tight on money, anybody will come to uh, ask for help. He was always help and yeah. uh, my mother used to fight with him. So I think uh, that became my DNA from there. And uh, when you make a difference in somebody's life, money cannot replace that. Right. So I have seen people going through a tough time, struggle in life. I wanted to be there if I can make a difference. I have resources. God have given me the capabilities to do things. Yeah. So I just wanted to be there for other people. Yeah, and I think that's that's fascinating. Again, from so many different facets of your career and of your life, and now you're you're writing best-selling books. Uh, you just created your own TV show. You're doing interviews. You're giving so much free content out there. Really, again, just to help people to make a difference in someone's lives. What, what, what drives you to continue to create and, and to get those things out of your head? Because when I leave from this world, the only thing people are gonna remember is what I have done for other people. Yeah. So I wanted to inspire more people. Whatever I can give back anywhere like uh, resources, money, my skills, my training, coaching, so however I can help other people. Yeah. So I wanted to do that. Who, now that you've had some level of success in your career, uh, who inspires you today? Today, um, uh, Tony Robbins, I watch very closely his uh, Freedom Formula and why, why do you want to do things in life? Why, why it's important yeah. for you? You have to understand that. Yeah, I think that's a big question to ask yourself is why are we doing what we're doing? Why are we pushing forward? Yeah. And when you have a good answer to that, yeah. and you know, because you don't have to get up in the morning and do the work you do anymore, yeah. right? Yeah. But that why continues to push you. I feel uh, so good when I'm around positive people. I'm involved in so many community events. I go out every day. When I'm with people, that gives me positive energy to do more uh, things out there. Yeah, surrounding yourself just with incredible people who are still inspired and, and, and growing yeah. their businesses. Yeah. Now, uh, kind of a fun question is, you know, if you could go back maybe to when you opened your, your first office, your first, day, your first day as a business owner, what advice would you give yourself looking back that, that might have helped you out in those early days? I was so afraid uh, uh, in the beginning to go to successful people and ask them for help. But once I started, uh, the hesitation was gone and I came out of my comfort zone. They were there to help me. I have learned so much just uh, from approaching people. Yeah. So don't be afraid to go to other people. Ask for help. Take in the first step. Come out of your comfort zone. So then you can change. You can change your thinking and change your world around you. I think that, that's such a powerful thing to do, and I want to talk about that fear, right? Because we're all scared that if I ask you for advice, you're going to like bite my hand off or something, you know? And I think the worst thing that happens is they, they say no, or I'm busy, or it, it's not the end of the world, right? Yeah. And most of the time, they do say yes. Yeah. That, it's, it's a fear of failure, yeah. fear of rejection. That's what we're afraid of. And other fear I had was, uh, what are the people going to think about me? Right. If I start something, I fail what they're gonna think about me. So I was living my life based on the approval of others. So then one day I thought, if I wanted to be a different, I wanted to live my life, I don't have to worry about other people. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about what they think. So it's my life I need to control on my life. I think that's a big thing for a lot of people is they think about, well, what are people gonna think about me as opposed to what's the impact and difference I can make in someone else's life? Yeah. By you opening your business, how many people did you help? Who didn't matter that two or three people thought you were crazy or didn't like the idea? Because look at how many, look at the positive impact yeah, of what you're doing. Yeah. I was very uh, loyal and honest with everybody I work with. So once I start working with somebody, my loyalty is 100% there. And that's what I try to uh, teach and coach people. Yeah. If you're honest and you're loyal and you're responsible, accountable, these are the things drive you to any other direction where you want it to go. Yeah. And nothing is impossible in life if you're ready to take that first step. And if somebody is ready to take that first fast step, uh, you have a lot of tools and ways for they, that you can help them yeah. uh, to do that. What, what's the best place or, or how can they learn more about some of the things that you have going on? So they can always contact me through my website and they can also contact me through my phone number 604-518-7300. I'm also starting the TV show Inspire Life with Pramidya Chauhan. Yeah. They can also take uh, advantage and benefit out of my TV show. 
So there I'm talking about the skills and the things I have learned uh, throughout my life. Just so powerful, so much information, resources. Make sure you visit the website, go get one of the books, watch his TV show. Reminder, it's always fun getting to talk to you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much for visiting the Thank set. You. And we'll be back in just a minute with more from Times Square today.